Ammonia is a very important industrial compound. It is used in the manufacture of washing soda, in a number of fertilizers. It's also used as a refrigerant. One should know how ammonia can be prepared in the laboratory. And for this we have a setup which comprises of a hard glass test tube. Its mouth is closed with a one hole rubber cock. You can find a delivery tube passing through it, the other end of which leads into a lime tar. And over the lime tar, we have an inverted gas jar, which is clamped to a stand, which means we have two stands in this experiment. Can you think why the gas jar has been inverted? Ammonia is lighter than air. It is collected by the downward displacement of air. What are the chemicals that are involved in the preparation of this gas? You can find in the test tube, we have taken ammonium chloride and calcium hydroxide in the ratio of 3 is to 2. In the lime tar, as the name suggests, some lime has been put which will absorb the water. And dry ammonia will collect in this gas jar. One needs to heat the mixture of ammonium chloride and calcium hydroxide. You can find water droplets have already collected on the cooler sides of the test tube. For a quick preparation of ammonia, we can carry out the same experiment in a hard glass test tube. Let us do that. I have taken the reactant mixture in a hard glass test tube. I can smell strong ammonia. It has a very pungent smell. Now how do I test the evolution of ammonia? I can take a glass rod dipped in concentrated hydrochloric acid and let me hold it near the mouth of the test tube. You can observe dense white fumes. Ammonia has combined with hydrochloric acid to form ammonium chloride. As I am heating the mixture, I can get a strong smell, a strong pungent smell of ammonia. How do I test the evolving gas? It is colorless. I dip a glass rod in concentrated hydrochloric acid. Take it near the mouth of the test tube. You can see dense white fumes. These fumes are of ammonium chloride. Ammonia has combined with HCl to form ammonium chloride. Now let me take a litmus paper, a red litmus paper. This is a red litmus paper. I make it moist by dipping it in water. Let me hold it near the mouth of the test tube. I find that the litmus paper has turned blue. A red litmus paper turning blue tells us ammonia is basic in nature. Remember, ammonia is highly soluble in water and it forms ammonium hydroxide. This is red litmus paper. I'll dip it in water, make it moist. I'll introduce it into the mouth of the test tube. See what the evolving ammonia gas has done? The ammonia gas that has evolved has turned red litmus into blue. It has changed the color of red litmus to blue, which means ammonia is basic by nature. You can find a lot of gas is collected in the gas jar. Let me now take out this gas jar. And cover it with the gas jar lid.
a glass rod dipped in concentrated hydrochloric acid you can find dense white fumes of ammonium chloride let's have a look at the equation ammonium chloride with calcium hydroxide giving us calcium chloride water and ammonia and you can see the arrow upward it's a lighter gas lighter than air highly miscible in water now ammonium chloride and calcium hydroxide as mentioned earlier are taken in the ratio 3 is to 2 and when i dipped a glass rod which had concentrated hydrochloric acid on it that is a glass rod dipped in concentrated hydrochloric acid when taken in a test tube which contains ammonia dense white fumes of ammonium chloride were observed i have taken red litmus solution in the beaker i have collected ammonia gas in a test tube you can find gradually the water level is rising i'm trying to cool the gas you can find the litmus solution red litmus is rising up the glass tube and you can find that as ammonia is coming down it's dissolving in the litmus solution ammonia is highly miscible in water and the red litmus is turning blue you can find the blue litmus solution has risen up the glass tube and ammonia as it is coming down ammonia is highly miscible in water it has turned the red litmus blue what are the precautions while doing the experiment it's a very simple experiment can be done very safely only take care that you do not inhale this gas 